welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Let's get to some news. Uh, well, guys, uh, today the White House announced major sanctions against Russia for cyber attacks and election interference. Yeah, this is all in response to Russia's repeated hacking. Today, Biden told Americans, rest assured, when you log on to Netscape, <laughs> and check your AOL account, Jack. It'll be secure. When asked if he was surprised by the sanctions, Putin said, no, I hacked email and saw on schedule last week. <laughs> Yet the Biden administration sanctioned six Russian tech companies, including their popular streaming service, Netflix. Ah, yeah, because that's not, that's great. Yeah, that's... thank you, thank you, bud. But the Kremlin says any U.S. sanctions are illegal. Ooh. I like how the country that poisons people's underpants is like, no, hey, no, that's not fair. Yeah, the sanctions are pretty harsh, considering our past response to election interference was a letter that said, um, no biggie if you can't, but could you not? <laughs> Some more news out of Washington today. Congressional Democrats introduced a bill to expand the Supreme Court from 9 to 13 justices. Ooh. Yep, Democrats are thinking Americans have gone up in four sizes in the last year. Why not the court, too? <laughs> of course, the Supreme Court bench only fits nine people, so if this goes through, they're going to add a small folding table on the end like it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Well, this is big. Today, the CEO of Pfizer said people will likely need a third booster dose within 12 months of being fully vaccinated. Oh, man, I can't believe we have to go through another year of vaccine selfies. <laughs> another dose. At this point, people are thinking, you know what? Screw it. I'll take my chances with the Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> yeah, America's like, oh, I, want, I want my life to be saved, but I didn't know I'd have to go to Rite Aid three times. Some travel news. A new CDC study found that blocking middle seats on airplanes reduces the risk of COVID exposure. More importantly, it reduces the risk of you having to hear, Hi, I'm Corey. <laughs> I, I wish I had headphones. I would put them on. <laughs> uh, I think I speak for all men when I say, forget the middle seat. Let's focus on blocking out the middle urinal. Yeah. <laughs> That's too close. That's... Come on. You know, just, we gotta, can we go, go sideways? What do we... Dude, just pee in the same urinal. What, what do we do? <laughs> well, guys, the Summer Olympics are in less than 100 days, and Ralph Lauren just unveiled Team USA's closing ceremony uniforms. Take a look. Yeah. There they are, your Olympic athletes. Oh, hang on. Actually, they're here to set up your cabana by the pool. <laughs> the athletes are coming. Can we see the picture again? Those uniforms look like they're going to tell me about their summer abroad. <laughs> Looks like an ad for a new sitcom called Let Me Speak to Your Manager. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Canada also debuted their outfits, and the jackets are getting some attention. Look at this. Yeah. I know we haven't been able to visit Canada for a year, but what the hell happened up there? <laughs> Denim jackets can only mean one thing. They just got the breakfast club in Canada. Speaking of our neighbors to the north, yesterday a Canadian lawmaker was caught in the nude during a virtual meeting. Here's a, here's a photo. Oh! Being naked at home is one thing, but that guy, that guy was in his office. How, does, how does that happen? People alerted him right after they took a million screenshots. Uh, before putting on pants, he was like, it's cold here today in Canada, isn't it? Cold? Everyone's talking about how cold it is. <laughs> Some entertainment news. The new trailer for the latest Fast and Furious movie, F9, came out yesterday, and it looks like it's still the same Fast and Furious that we all know and love. <laughs> Check it out. There's nothing more important than family, except friends. But when your friends are your family, that makes them double family. The only thing that matters in life is friends being family, being friends, while also being family, a.k.a. friends, a.k.a. family. Family is what I call my friends' family, and I'd do anything for my family. Or my fans, which is what I call my friends' family's friends. Now, what do you say? Let's drive cars real fast. Wow. I gotta go see that with my family. 
Uh, well, this is interesting. Billions of cicadas will emerge across the U.S. next month. So a company is selling a wearable bug screen pod for $89. Take a look at this thing. Yeah, that's a bug screen and definitely not a guy who just cut armholes in his hamper. And finally, a couple in Australia was shocked to find a live venomous snake in a bag of lettuce they bought at the supermarket. Look at this thing. Oh. Yeah. Australia was like, we see your shrimp tail, America, and raise you a live snake. <laughs> and meanwhile, if you uh, count the Canadian lawmaker, that's two surprise snakes. Wow. We have a great show.